what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today we are switching it up a bit we typically go and we buy like every sneaker that has just come out recently in the uh, hype sneaker world but today we're going to switch it up and be buying designer sneakers at a designer mall now this is going to be like one of the most expensive malls in my city we're going to go ahead and go to different stores like balenciaga louis vuitton prada and buying a sneaker at each of those stores to show you guys kind of what you get in comparison for the money to like a hype sneaker now i've done this before way back in the day and it was an expensive video and today's going to be another expensive video if you guys like this we'll go to another mall that has even more stores in my area as well there's just a lot of designer stores here there's gucci balenciaga saint laurent bottega veneta there's so many that we are not gonna be able to do them all in this video so we're gonna be starting off with some of the best and seeing how you guys like it so let's go ahead and head to uh, phipps plaza here in atlanta and uh see what we can buy i'm excited the balenciaga store just opened there so i'm sure we can get a good pair of shoes there and uh, i'm very excited about this but my wallet and my uh, credit card is not so let's go ahead and head there to Balenciaga where they have a ton of crazy sneakers. Now, a lot of these sneakers are gonna be a little bit outside the wheelhouse that I typically would take when it comes to sneakers, but we're going for something unique. We're going for something different today, and hopefully we can find a good pair in here. I'm not gonna reveal them just yet, but uh, go ahead and check out some of these options. Prada and they have a ton of different selection of sneakers, but unfortunately they do not have a ton of my size. So the selections are slim, but hopefully we can find something really good in here. All right guys, so we just finished up. We got our two pairs in the car. We're not gonna walk around, flash them, whatever, but we're gonna go ahead and head back, show you guys we have four pairs total. Spent too much money today, but let's go back. Guys, we got a little bougie today and we spent some money in designer stores. This kind of like hurts more than going and spending $5,000 on a mystery box or $5,000 on shoes at a store because these don't really hold their value like other sneakers do. And uh, there's not really a resale market, but I went a little bougie and bought some sneakers today and I actually ended up buying some clothing because I saw something I liked because I literally never go shopping for designer stuff. It's just like, I don't really wear it, but I found something that was sick and we'll probably talk about that. That's the second shoe. So we did in total, the brands we did was Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, Prada, and then what was the last one? Off-White. It sounds so bougie to say that, like, I don't know. First up, we went to Balenciaga. Now, they just opened this Balenciaga store here in Atlanta, and uh, I had not been yet. I haven't been at the mall. It's been open for like six months or a year now, but I never really go there anymore. So we got one pair of shoes. I was kind of trying a few different ones on, if you guys saw from the clips. The guy helping us out there, his name was Nick. He was awesome. They didn't have, like, uh, uh, the sizes of all the shoes that I wanted. They have, like, the big chunky ones and all that, but it wasn't really my thing necessarily. So... Here's a receipt. We'll show you how much we paid. This was one of the more expensive pairs. At Balenciaga, retail is $995, which is $1,083.56. That's expensive for one pair of shoes. I, my other designer pair, I have the Dior Oblique B23s. I bought those and I paid $1,100 for them, but they have been worn hundreds of times, so I got my value out of them. But 
Let's go ahead and see. Well, let's, I'm saying this like I don't wear $6,000 off-white Jordan 1 Chicago's, but this is kind of expensive, but the selection there, it's like pretty uh, exotic of a selection. Like it's very high fashion and I like the stylings, but I don't think I necessarily can pull most of them off. But with how I am and how my feet are, I thought this would be the best pair. So you do get dust bags when you buy designer shoes, which is nice when you're traveling, put it in the dust bag, or this can just be your backpack if you want. And uh, you can keep all the dirty shoes off of your nice clothing. So that is there, comes with it. We open this up and you can kind of see some laces popping out. These are going to be, I totally forgot the name. What is the name of these? Why can't I remember? The Speedies or something? Speed 2.0. So the, what makes these, guys, I know some of you guys might be like, what are those? Like, are you really gonna wear those? So the Speeds are like the uh, Balenciaga sock shoe, as you guys have seen, but these have laces to give it a little more structure and uh, more of like the shoe look. And it has the Balenciaga logo on the front. Now I will put these on so you guys can see and kind of do the try on. Now, before you guys roast me in the comments, my outfit is not prepared to wear these shoes. So don't meme me if these look meme, meme me if these look bad because they might look bad because these pants are not meant for this. I know what you guys are gonna say, Harrison, you have no drip. You got money, but you have no drip. I'm not claiming to have drip, but these actually are very comfortable. Uh, the way they like the sock material. And I think if these were styled right, they'd actually look really good. Now a thousand dollar price point. Is expensive. Um, let's say I wore these, wanted to sell them in the used market. I feel like I could get seven, eight hundred dollars for them. So like, if you get them, wear them a bit, get your use out of them, you could probably trade them into like a secret store and get uh, some money out of it. I do believe that, but they're easy to get on. They're comfortable, and I kind of like the look of these more than the original, just because of like the logoing here it gives it more of like of a shoe look to it. But I don't know. It's unique and it's one that's hard to kind of wear, I think. But I think pulled off in the right setting, they could look good. So. Shout out Nick at Balenciaga for helping me out with these and uh, helping me pick these up, but that's a lot of money. A lot of money. And it didn't stop there. It got more expensive, and uh, I actually think Prada was the most expensive shoe, surprisingly. And at the end, Nick and I are gonna tell you which is our favorites and whatnot, and if Nick would wear any of them, so we'll get his opinions on it too. But dust bag is all there, 1,083 bucks. <laughs> it's also about the experience shopping at those stores. like. It's a really nice environment in there. Um, depending, sometimes you can go to some designer stores and they like don't even talk to you. They were nice there, but like some places you go, they literally just won't even bat an eye at you. So I don't really like how stores do that, but I feel like it's kind of like they do that to make you, like I've seen some where people are like, oh, they treat you like bad. So you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy something because you think I can't buy it. I don't know, but next one's gonna be Saks Fifth Avenue. And this is one where I bought two items and the total, of the two items, $767.75, but the shoes themselves were $570 before tax, so about $530. Bucks. So let me show you, should I show them the shirt first or the sneaker? Maybe the sneaker, I'll show you the sneaker. The shirt's pretty dope. Here we go. We got an off-white sneaker. Now this is not a Nike off-white collaboration. This is the designer, like high-end brand of off-white. Rest in peace, Virgil, obviously. Uh, this is kind of like a like a skate shoe, kind of. Like it has that kind of a vibe, but I think we got a really clean colorway. So again, what do you get? A dust bag. Some of them come with uh, two dust bags. This is just one, I believe, yep, one big dust bag. And check this out, tan and white. These are clean. Like, I like these. I, I literally see myself wearing these. Tan, white, great sneaker, great silhouette. And I'm gonna put these on for you guys so you can see what they look like. And these ones were only 570 bucks, almost half the price of the Balenciagas, and actually one that I would probably wear more often. One thing is they do have like the zip tie, like they do on the Off-White Nike, but this is leather, so. A nice fancy zip tie, not plastic. Now, I think these look a little bit better with this outfit. One, because of the colors. Two, the pants aren't bad, but again, good quality. I think this is a shoe that, you know, will break in really nicely. $570, I don't think is bad. You have a thicker tongue. You have uh, the arrow that's kind of like a Nike swoosh, kind of. And then I think it resembles like a DC shoe from back in the day. Would you agree, Nick? Yeah, I think it kind of looks like a dunk mixed with like an older skate shoe. Yeah, I agree. But it's just like good quality, like higher quality leather and stuff than you'd get from the off-white Nike pairs. And so that's why these are uh, more expensive because it's high-end quality. 
right, guys, we're hopping in here because we're giving away a pair of Jordan 1 patent leather breads. This is a newer pair that just came out. I think it'd be awesome to do a giveaway for you guys. So all you have to do for this giveaway is you have to, one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, you have to follow me, Harrison Neville, on Instagram. Number three, leave a comment on this post you see up on the screen and tag two friends on that over on Instagram, and we'll pick in the winner in three weeks' time. So go ahead, get you a fresh pair. These are a size 11. Now, if your size is like the same price, I'll try to maybe just buy your size and do that. So go ahead, check that out, patent bread. So like I said, I did buy one more thing and it is a Rude McLaren Formula One tee. So Rude and McLaren did a collaboration. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I had a McLaren, I sold it. Um, this one was 225 originally, got it for 135. There's a whole clearance sale there and they have all the pants, shirts, everything, but it's like a vintage style. You got the Formula One car, you have the Rude logo, McLaren, and on the back you have this. It's kind of like a vintage logo. I thought this is super clean. For summertime, it's gonna be perfect. 135 is a little steep for a tee, but uh, a lot I wear a lot of representing stuff, and those are like similar prices, so I think that this is a really good one, and I'm excited because I just like the collaboration for like the Formula One, the car, the racing stuff, so look out for some stuff like that coming soon for me because that's the stuff in the works, so look out for that. But that is pair number two, and we're $1,500, $1,600 deep. It just feels so weird on shoes like this that automatically lose like 20% of value like sneakers when you wear them, I think they'd lose probably like five to 10% realistically if they're like lightly worn. Next up is going to be Louis Vuitton. Another one that's kind of that uh, unique experience. It's super nice in there. It's always busy in Louis Vuitton, which is crazy. We struggled finding a pair that was my size, but this one, this was the last. These are expensive too. 975 retail, so 1,061 after tax. It's not that I can't afford to buy them. It's just like, I'm very picky with how I spend my money, I feel like. Show me $1,000 to spend on something for my car. It's easy, but like, I spent a lot of my money business-wise on sneakers at this point. So it's like, this. I don't know. And there's no, I don't see as much resale value where I can like make my money back out, but I'll make it for the video. I'm just being annoying about how much expensive these are. So next up we got a Louis Vuitton, I forget the model name of these. It does not say, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna know the model, but it reminds me of like an Alexander McQueen sneaker. You have the embossed uh, Louis Vuitton logo in there in leather, and uh, you have like a really nice tan leather on the inside. I think these are actually really, like out of all of them, they're one of my favorites. I know Nick picked up a pair, I don't know if he got it on the glasses cam, but he was in love with a pair there. But uh, they have the Virgil Louis Vuitton there as well, so like two of these four shoes were literally designed by Virgil. Well, not these, but the ones they had there were designed by Virgil, his uh, Louis Vuitton sneaker, and they were like 1200 before taxes, which is a lot of money. But they're nice, they're super nice quality. <laughs> This is one that I thought would look better on feet once I got them on, because um, I like the way they look like this, but they don't look like from above is like my favorite, but I, they're not that bad. They're a thousand bucks, but I really was looking for a shoe to replace my Dior B23s to kind of have as like, when I'm dressing up, going out, we're gonna have to see what's gonna be my most worn and the contender most of those. I'm not gonna be wearing shoes like this every day. I don't do that. I wear the same shoes every day, but these are a pretty solid pick. Do you like those, Nick? Yeah, I actually like those. Not as much as the last one, though. Yeah, that one's good. That's like one that people can wear more often. This is like not an everyday for what I do. I definitely think you could wear that every day, but not for what I do every day. So last one up, we have Prada. This is one that I think is really popular now. And they had a model that I really, really liked that I really wanted, it was in green. I, uh, I should have a video of me holding that, but they didn't have my size. They didn't have like any sizes in any of the colors that I wanted. So I went with a different one in orange that I think is solid. Um, I, I would say I'd rather have the other ones for the price. So these were 1,078. It's like every designer shoe at this point besides the off-white one is gonna be a thousand bucks. It's pretty nuts. Prada, you have, um, this is a unique little box. It's like a sneaker box, but Prada on the front, pull these out. Oh, it's recycled material, which is nice. You get a really good presentation with these as well with like the extra wrapping, like look at that. It's like, here we go, boom, we have a protecting bag over your shoe. Like there's a dust bag in here, I believe, and there's a bag for your shoe before the dust bag. So check these out, not sure the model number, this is a low top Prada. Looks pretty similar to some of the Louis Vuitton shoes. It's just, it's just like a normal silhouette. Like, it's not that unique of a silhouette. I wish the orange was a little bit brighter, but I, I like it. It's got like a nice little puffy tongue, the Prada logo on the side. And this could be a good dressier shoe. And the quality of the leather on these is like, it's really nice. I'm sure it costs them not that much money to make them, not a thousand dollars, but it's still good quality. And this one has the dust bag as well. So all of them came with dust bags and you know, it's pretty nice. The Louis Vuitton came with individual ones.
So for the last pair of the Pradas, I think this actually doesn't go bad with the outfit that I'm wearing. And what I like about them is most of the shoes in this silhouette have a very skinny tongue that kind of stop here. This has a puffier tongue that I think adds to the look and makes it look better in my opinion. That's just kind of my little style things that I think looks better, but a good silhouette nonetheless. And uh, all these shoes like have their own attributes that are similar to me where like, I don't know, like I don't get super feeling of uh, the designer like, Oh, I want to get that where I get that for like the Travis Scott Jordan 1 highs like or whatever behind the shoe Like I love the colorway and it's just in tune more with me rather than like the super high-end But I do love to put on a really like high-end nice pair of shoes when I go out to fancy dinner Because I don't I can't wear sneakers to like a nice restaurant So I'm gonna look at these Nick I'm gonna look at these and kind of see where we think is one of our favorites of all them. All right So we're gonna pick our favorites out of this when it comes to me. I feel like there's a hard Like value to shoe wise. I feel like it's hard not to pick this shoe it's the, half the price of all the other ones. It's a great looking silhouette. It's great quality and it's 500 bucks. It's hard not to pick that. But if I'm picking outside of that, I do like those Balenciagas for like dressing up. And if I'm dressed, like I think if I'm dressing up, I need to go a different route. And I think it's either this one right here, this Louis Vuitton or the uh, Balenciagas because I think this is still classified more as like a sneaker than like a dressier shoe. So that's just my thoughts. I like this shoe for you the most out of all of them. This orange right here, this is totally your color. But after that, that's not my favorite. This is 100% the best shoe on the table. This is a shoe that I could see myself wearing that's not a Nike, not an Adidas, not something like that. I actually do like the way that this shoe looks. The shape of it's sick. It's definitely almost like an off-white skate shoe. But then these, these are cool too. These remind me of like my Yeezy days. So, I mean, I do, I do like this. I am a fan of this style of shoe and I like it with the laces more than I do without the laces, so. I don't know. Honestly, that's the best though. The off-white. I tried to pick shoes that I would actually wear because I did this before and I just picked random shoes, but I'm very happy with that selection. 3500 bucks later, that's what we have. And so hopefully I've got some new shoes to wear when I'm dressing up a little bit. But uh, make sure you guys go ahead and enter that giveaway for the patent Jordan 1 breads. Do not forget to enter that. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like down below if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see me go again, do this at four different stores. Leave a like on this video and I'll do it again if this video gets enough views because there are plenty of stores for us to go buy more shoes at. And uh break the bank. So leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.